for tune muscle up one arm handstand vertical jump we're just doing a ring muscle up dynamic one to three reps and then we're going to do a one arm handstand with a straddle with a weight shift and a vertical jump one to three reps so in the dip position you're just holding here uh, then you're going to come down squeeze that grip feel that false grip come down get a nice turn out feel that stretch in the wrist come back up turn it over you could add in the jump dip if you like if you feel stable and strong enough there i like to progress that with the band uh, you want to have obviously a good band dip nice and stable before you do this and then you want to also feel that you've got a decent flexibility to hold that false grip and you've been working on the strength of it um, just with the feet on the ground so then from there you can jump up into that dip position and then from there as you come down squeeze the false grip and then from there pulling up turn it over um, you can press up in a dip there as well we're getting one to three reps work through with a decent amount of band help remember the hardest part is the turnover so if you feel even though you go down in that pull up the pull up shouldn't be hard at all um, what's going to be hard is that turnover so don't worry if you feel like you're getting too much help in the bottom of it because that band's pulling tight it's more about getting a smooth turnover than anything else because the pull up strength and the dip strength you can work in those workouts but the transition is the goal and the false grip is the goal that's going to allow you to bring it all together and then obviously going to full body weight with that um, but you should feel really comfortable I think find a lot of people trying to go, go to the full body weight too early um, and they can't do it controlled with the band they're kind of jumping up from a pull up into that dip position but you want to make sure that you've got a really solid band variation and then you should be able to do the, a slow eccentric as well so you might find you even just do three slow eccentric reps with the feet off and really control that and then help yourself back up and then do that do three of those before you go to the full body weight one it is a very heavy movement so there's no need to rush it then we've got the straddle one arm handstand on the wall um, obviously if you've got enough control you could do it freestanding but you're really trying to feel that alignment in the position if you can't quite kick up the handstand that becomes your workout it's just working on your kick up um, working on good alignment to kick up so it's nice and soft and then getting that straddle leg position on the wall so if I'm here and I kick up I want to get fairly close so I'm not arching once I'm up and then from there straddling out and then from there just weight shifting over shift that hand feel that pressure go to the other side shift feel that pressure and come back I wouldn't even rush if you're just starting out with that you might be just going into the straddle not even weight shifting much don't rush to get that hand off it's just about feeling that stack and alignment there's no rush you know you, you want to feel that you're developing every week you're not forcing and straining too much uh, it's a good idea to look up through the eyebrows and really try and keep that stack rather than looking too much that way because otherwise when you go to take that off the wall you should be able to do both look that way and there um, but you'll find yourself a bit disorientated uh, then for the vertical jump you want a nice clean line so you're getting that full stretch up butt slightly tucked under here and that's your start position coming down bang hit that and then absorb so really trying to get three consecutive reps as high as you can so this workout is now moving into the pull push legs component as opposed to a gymnastic strength uh, workout but the reps are still remaining that one to three so they can be explosive and you can really work on that skill and technique um, so four rounds of that pretty tough 30 second rest after the jump and then come back around and then progress it as you work into the sets but always always leave a little bit spare in the system to maintain good form the muscle up especially is something a lot of people squirm on they'll strain themselves just trying to get it use the bands get good technique it will come up just takes time enjoy the process